Hello, my rock star shoppers. How is everybody doing? Frying, I am sure. Oh my word. The entire United States is super hot this week. So let's shop in an air conditioned store and check out all the goodies. So today I'm at Marshall's and I went in for the Halloween decor, but I want to shop the whole store and see what's good, what's on sale, what's new. So yeah, of course the handbags get me every time. This one's $119.99, Michael Kors. Very pretty. I like that style bag, as you know. I like a structured bag with a top handle and a crossbody strap. That's my fave. These Aldo bags were really cute. I like that they came with a coordinating scarf. I think that's really cute. Very pretty. But anyway, yeah, whoo, it's hot out. Summer is at its height. Oh my word. Okay, it looks like Anne Klein has copied Michael Kors' new Empire logo. And yeah, this is the second time they've done this. So ironically enough, there was another wallet there that had their old logo. And you'll recognize that. That looks just like Michael Kors as well. So I don't know what's going on with Anne Klein. I don't know how they don't get sued. They just keep copying the Michael Kors branding. It's crazy, right? I wouldn't buy it because of that too. It's like... Be original, right? Do your own thing. Hire a creative team and come up with your own designs. You know what I mean? Anyway, so yeah, I was checking out the wallets and I, I don't know, it was a big nothing burger for me. I didn't see anything here spectacular at all. Just all your basic designs, nothing new, nothing interesting. So we are going to move on from there. And now I'm gonna look at some work bags. I know a lot of you have had to go back to the office. Comment below, were you able to stay home if you were remote during the pandemic? Were you able to negotiate a permanent work from home? I really hope you were. I have so many ladies that shop in my store. I own a consignment store. And um, yeah, I'd say uh, at least half of them have had to go back to the office at least some of the time and they're so sad about it. They seem really, really upset about it and I felt so bad for them, but they were in my store buying clothes and work bags because they were back to the office. So anyway, that's, I think you should be able to work anywhere you want, right? As long as you get your work done, who cares? Anyway, these leather bags, they looked really spring and summer. They were not marked down, so. But this really dark orange one caught my eye. It looked like it was really high quality. So I pulled it out and I was like, wow, that is gorgeous. It was gorgeous leather. It did have a crossbody strap. It was inside the bag and it had that whip stitching. It was $79.99. I'm like, what is this bag? And then, ah, oh, Patricia Nash, of course. I love Patricia Nash bags. I think they are high quality leather. They are beautiful. Of course, this was my favorite bag in the entire store. This coach really beautiful satchel oh it's my favorite bag i love it i i just love it yep it was a beautiful fall like caramel tan color it was 129.99 this one was also coach and was the same color same beautiful leather had a crossbody bag there's the branding the coach tag i think this one was 149.99 yeah, $149.99. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. This was a vegan bag, $34.99, same color. So it's, it's fun to look at them all together. This is a good work bag. Oh, God, I remember those days. I, I had everything in my bag. I had extra pair of shoes, a whole bunch of toiletries, water, extra snacks. Oh, God, I carried around so much stuff. I used to work. I used to work in Hartford, Connecticut. So I would commute from Massachusetts to Connecticut every day. And yeah, I loved that coach. I kind of wish I got it. I might go back for it. It's probably gone by now. They only had one, so I'm sure it's gone, but it was gorgeous. It was beautiful. I loved it. But anyway, yeah, so I would carry a bag like this and it would be stuffed with all my away from home. It was like a mini travel bag because I had to be in Hartford all day. <laughs> I don't miss it. I don't miss it at all. And they had a lot of dorm furniture out. I think, you know, like storage type furniture, things like that. So 
I will bring you through these furniture pieces. So let's check them out and browse. I think if you are looking for small, occasional pieces, storage pieces, accent pieces, now is the time because the stores completely stock up for back to dorm, back to school, back to dorm. So now's the time to find the perfect piece. And yeah, let's browse. So I wandered back into bags because this one caught my eye. Look at the butterflies. So fun fact, I live near a butterfly conservatory, right? How crazy is that? You can walk in and there's butterflies everywhere. Like they have it, it's like a beautiful garden. It's all enclosed and they'll land right on you. They give you little nectar flower things that you can hold and they'll all come up to you. It's crazy. I've been there twice. It's a magical place, but I would purchase that bag and wear it. To the butterfly conservatory <laughs> that's the kind of person i am this is an interesting brand adorned i really love this bag i thought that was really cool it was a summer bag though it wasn't marked down yet i was surprised but um it had that guitar strap that i've been mentioning in lots of my videos oh actually it was marked down i'm so sorry it was 18 dollars. yeah it was on sale it was very summery this one looked like Patricia Nash. At first I thought it was, and then I was like, not for $18, that's something else. But it looks like one of the patterns from Patricia Nash. And of course, all the glitzy, glamorous bags are all marked down now because we're past prom and all those fancy events. Wedding season is kind of winding down, but um, yeah, so there's all the graduations. So they have all their fancy bags all marked down so now's the time to get one of those and then these are all of their back to school so these look more like junior back to school type stuff with the backpacks but i do get a lot of these in my store and i like to check the prices just to make sure i'm putting the right price on the ones we get so these all ranged brand new from 25 to 60 dollars so i keep that in mind as i price the ones that we get we get a lot of backpacks. So check out your local thrift or consignment if you are looking for that for your kids for back to school. Sometimes you can find some really good deals. All right, I love wood accents. I do, it's because they're so unique. To me, they're all one of a kind. You know, they're not, they're not exactly the same, each one. They're obviously handcrafted and they just have this beautiful natural beauty. And I think the prices that you pay for these in a store like Marshall's is incredibly reasonable. Like $12.99, that was clearly a handmade piece and it's beautiful. Yeah, I think you really get your money's worth when you buy these uh, wooden crafted bowls. I just think you do. They're so reasonable. I mean, $16.99 for that beautiful wood bowl and those the handles and then this nesting set with that cut out lattice edge i think that's gorgeous i mean in this tray very beautiful very beautiful craftsmanship and they're just so reasonable like 20 dollars for that you would you know if you bought that in like a craft store boutique store yeah you just have to be careful with these because a lot of these are not food safe so really check that label like this one's labeled not food safe so it looks like you could use it for food but you really can't so make sure you either line it with parchment paper if you're going to put something in there or use another little glass dish inside of there just be real careful i thought this black macrame was interesting i've never seen this combination before i've seen it obviously with the with the um, cream colored yarns, but I've never seen it with black yarn. I thought that was different, looked really cool. And again, these were really cool. I would use them for like charcuterie or something like that, but they're not food safe. So 
Just make sure you use that wax paper, parchment paper, if you're gonna put cheese out on it or something like that. I think it's okay to use it for like fruit because you're gonna peel or wash fruit, but if you're gonna use it for something you're gonna directly eat, just be careful. I love those wood um, circular things. I use that those in my store. I make a lot of different displays. I use them for jewelry, actually. I put a lot of earrings on them or bracelets, and they make a beautiful display for jewelry in my store. Here's more of that black macrame. I really liked it. It was different. It was unique. Hadn't seen that before. I liked it. This display really drew me in. I don't know. I think it was the huge clock and that painting with the hands. Something just drew me in. So I said, well, let's check it out. What, what's going on here? And they had a couple of these glass sculptures. I saw these in HomeSense. They had so many of these in HomeSense. Here in Marshalls, they only had a couple, but they had every color you could think of in HomeSense. So if you like that style, I'd recommend going there and checking it out. These circular vases are still a thing. Hi, that's me. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I love saying hi to you guys. <laughs> but anyway, these, these circular vases are still a thing. I do not have any. I don't have any. I don't know why. They don't really appeal to me, but they're very popular. Very popular. I do, however, have one of these, these, um, I don't know, they have, I don't think they're really a bookcase. I, I don't, they're not really practical for books, but that angled shelving unit, I have the exact same one in my house, right next to my fireplace. And I use it for decor and stuff like that. I really, it's not practical, but anyway, with these little chests, you have to check the drawers, especially when they're these, these, um, straw baskets that they use oftentimes they don't fit correctly I've noticed that so that one you can see I couldn't get it back easily so they can they can really not be the best you should always check them just to make sure that the baskets slide in and out pretty easy and on that one they did not so here's another dark wood this one definitely does look like more of a bookcase or you could put your um, like if you have like a humidifier in your room or something like that it'd be a good good uh but this angled these these this angled shelf right here yeah i love these i have one of these i love it i think it's beautiful although i just use it for decor i have to say i'm not using it for anything too practical but again if you're looking for small occasional pieces now's the time because there's this was broken this was literally broken it was broken i couldn't believe they just had it out there like that I mean, maybe somebody just broke it, but I was like, wow, that's bad. <laughs> that's not good. Somebody broke that or it came broken and they put it out anyway. I don't know. But I always check their florals because I, I also get a lot of florals in my store and I don't really buy them. So I'm not always confident. I know what price to put on them, but I like to check the price. So th that bunch was $16.99. So it's good to know the prices. All right, here's our favorite part. Oh, I love Halloween. Okay, you guys, I live in Massachusetts and we go to Salem. Salem is the Halloween central. It really is. If you live anywhere near, even if you don't, it's totally worth the trip. I've seen so many YouTube videos of people who literally take a vacation to Salem at this time of year. It's worth it. It's totally cool. Oh my God, look at these two i literally bought these they're my dogs look mina so that one looks just like mina my new little terrier girl and that one looks just like malcolm my basset hound beagle mix i purchased those i did and they're going to be my holly my halloween decor i love them they're my dogs isn't that crazy literally i'm like what are the chances so yeah of course i had to buy them but yeah i love looking at the halloween decor so Fun fact, I had the most amazing Halloweens as a child. My childhood Halloweens were amazing. So my mother was like a bridesmaid a million times in the 60s. She was just in so many weddings and she saved all of her bridesmaids dresses and they were these huge crinoline, like poofy confections. They were beautiful. They were stunning. And she had every color. She had like pale yellow, pale green, lilac, pink, 
I mean, she had every color and she saved all the accessories, the little hats that came with them and the gloves. And yeah, you guessed it. My sister and I dressed up as princesses every single Halloween. We'd walk up and down our neighborhood streets in these gorgeous bridesmaids dresses that my mother saved. And it was the funniest, cutest thing ever. Yep, I did buy them. See, they're in the cart. <laughs> Anyway, that it's just so I have so many good memories of that, of just walking around with my father and my mother dressed up in my mother's bridesmaids dresses from the 60s. It's just crazy. It was so much fun. So much fun. Anyway, so I love getting these kitchen towels. I like decorating for Halloween and for fall. I'm sure all of us do, right? It's an addiction for sure. So I always pick up some new towels. And I always look to see if they have anything interesting. Oh my God, my dog is my boo. Yes, I love my dogs so much. I do, I do. That's a really cute towel. Right. Well, it's time for me to go, but on my way out, I wanted to check out these wreaths. A Halloween wreath is a must. I definitely decorate with one every year. Uh, this black one was spectacular. I think it would look amazing on a, like a white door or a light colored door, but my doors are a very dark green. So these probably would not show up very well on my very dark doors. <laughs> So it's hard to find a Halloween wreath for me because my doors are dark. I tend to go for like a ghost type theme and that's really hard to find. So if you, if you have seen a ghost themed wreath for Halloween, link it below. Tell me where to go. All right. Thank you so much for watching these videos, especially if you made it to the end. I really appreciate your support. I'm having so much fun doing this and yeah. I can't wait to see you in my next one.